good to me. I, I feel like I've seen you in so many movies and now putting your, you know, everything together, here you are. It's, it's miraculous. <laughs> and here you are. I didn't know you were Australian also, which I yeah. think is a great tribute to your acting and the accent that I you I am. Did. I hear your buddy is down there. Oh, my friend is down there? Which one? I'm on the show. I'm on the show. Oh, oh, Matt Damon? <laughs> oh, not a buddy. <laughs> no. Not a friend. <laughs> I'll Not just... a friend, yeah. <laughs> oh, is he in Australia? I hear he's in Byron Bay, yeah. Oh, I hope he never comes yeah. back. I really do. <laughs> that can be arranged, yeah. That can be arranged. <laughs> what part of Australia are you from? Uh, I'm from a place called Winton. Small town? Uh, they say eight, nine hundred. I reckon it's about 200. 200 people? Yes. Wow. Two pubs. And then when you left, <laughs> 200 people, two pubs. Literally, yeah. literally two pubs, yeah. <laughs> And are they busy all the time, the pubs? They're packed the whole time. They're packed, yeah. <laughs> it's very hot out there, yeah, yeah. What goes on? Like, what are your, what'd your parents do for work in, in Winton? My mum was in a nunnery, and my father was a sheep shearer, and he broke down. So this is not Literally. a joke that my you're mom and making. This is, this is true, yeah, yeah. yeah. My mum was in a nunnery, my father was a sheep shearer. He got a flat tire. They're so far out there in Winton, it's so far out, they couldn't get any tires for, like, two weeks. Uh-huh. So they met... They started dating. My father decided to shear around there, and, you know, 40-odd years later, here I am. You're here because of a lack of transportation. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, a they could say a lack of good rubber, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boom, boom. That's a double, yeah. <laughs> so, wait a minute. As a sheep... What do you... What's it like? What... A sheep shearer, how... Like, what's that like? It's hands-on, dude. Yeah, sure. <laughs> how many Jimmy's sheep... looking pretty woolly here, isn't he? How many sheep would your dad shear? Like, it, was uh, it every day he was shearing them? Yeah, or? I mean, you got paid per sheep, so that was how you made your living. And right. You, so for a ram, which is, you know, big with massive big horns, you know, you, it took a lot longer, you get paid double the going rate, and then for a ewe, and then lambs were the quickest. But, you know, a, a good shearer would shear between 200 and 250 a day. And how do you do that? Do you have to do that all, <laughs> grab the horns? And... Yeah, well, yeah, a ram, you've got to be very careful, yeah. You yeah. Do. But you get in, you know, you... <laughs> you wrestle the yeah, sheep, you get, right? you've got to go into the pen and you wrestle it by the snout. It's pretty rough. You twist it around, you dig the knee in, and then you put it on its, on its ass. Uh-huh. You grab it and you drag it up with the hands, <laughs> literally, <laughs> to the stand, yeah. And Is then this you, how you uh, lost your virginity? Dad, I'm going to... Actually, you know what, I would... Actually, it's, I did get blackballed, but that's another story. Uh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's out the same. The same thing happened to my brother out there, too. Um, but you, you tuck its arms under. Yeah. You know, you pin it, you pull the cord, it's sitting up, you know, with its head up there. You take the belly off. So this is not like grooming a dog. No, like it's they, not no. like grooming a dog. They, do no. they hate it? Do the sheep hate uh, being cheered? Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, they don't, they're not big on it. No. They're not, yeah. <laughs> but do you ever explain to them, like, this could be worse, we could, you could be mutton, we could be eating you? Well, you've got to do that, too, actually. Oh. That was one of the, When I worked in the shearing said, you've actually got to do that. It's, it's the, as the junior person, it's your turn to go out and get the meat ready. Oh, really? And the meat's actually tied to a pole. A pole? And it's standing there. Oh. <laughs> and do they... Yeah. So when they're done growing uh, enough... Well, they'll choose... A, you know, they'll choose... You know, for a team of shearers, you're out in the... You're out in, you know, you're out in the countryside. There's no town around. There's right, no... it's not like you can drive no, by bonds. No, you're there for weeks. So yeah. the, the meat is fresh, and it's from the... You know, the farmer gives across a ewe. To wow. eat, and that's the mutton, yeah. And then and they take it all and make it into Uggs. They take it all and make it into Uggs. If those sheep oh, fine knew, Italian suits, If actually. they knew that they were make, being made into Uggs, they would probably murder <laughs> you if they could. <laughs> wow, that's something else. So what did your dad, a sheep shearer, say when he, you told him you wanted to be an actor? I don't... That, my father, honestly, did not know what that was. <laughs> and I mean that no disrespect. I mean, I, you know, my father is one of the most hard-working men I've ever encountered. Sounds like it, yeah. Yes, but he had no idea. I mean, I, you know, nobody really had anywhere where I was from. You know, an actor is what? What is that? You know, you, we didn't, you know, we didn't have no TV. We weren't watching, you know, things like that. We were, it was, it was how does one, you know, what is, is that a job? You know, it was a, such a foreign thing. So it took a long time and then eventually Kenny, which is my father's name, and uh -huh. Marlene, Kate, my mum, you know, uh -huh. they'd come along and watch me on sets. And, uh -huh. and uh... Did they like it? Yeah, my mum loves it. My father would, you know, like on to, uh, Everest. He came to Everest at Pinewood. Uh-huh. And we've got a massive big, you know, the pinnacle of Everest, and there's a snow cave, and there's, 
Uh, thousands of people, you know what it's like. It's a huge, the Bond stage. And yeah. I come off the mountain, you know, shooting a scene. I said, OK, what are you going to do now, Jason? Oh, we're going to do it again, Dad. Oh, OK, why? Well, we're going to shoot it closer, and then we're going to shoot it closer. And then, what are you going to do for that? Sure, so I'm going back for a beer. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> my father was always good with the Teamsters having a beer in the trailer. Did yeah. your dad ever accidentally grab a Teamster and shear all the hair <laughs> off of him? <laughs> just like he's getting old spirit of things? <laughs> no, but he's done it to a dog. He has, yeah. yeah. What about your mom? Yeah. Did you, your mom, she must, she must be more interested in movies and that sort of thing. Yeah, she is. Mom, yeah. you know, when I go, she's the one that has the, you know, the pictures framed on the wall at home. And Oh, nice. I can't believe you, you know, you, you know, you know such and such, or if you see such and Who such. Who does she get excited like... about the fact that you know? Oh, the, the, the fact, or the bigger, the funniest, the, the strangest, embarrassing one was Jamie Foxx. Oh, really? I don't know if Jamie, Jamie's out there, yeah, I'm sure. Um, yeah, we're at Nobu. I took my mother to Nobu. At the sushi place? Yeah, um, and it was uh, David Ellison. You know, who produced Terminator, set us up there at a beautiful table right down the front where there's, you know, all the... You know, all the very best customers, I guess, or the famous actors. And we're sitting down on the waiters, you know, handing out the, the menus, and my mum just made a beeline over for Jamie Foxx. Oh, he was eating dinner with My somebody. son worked with you! <laughs> oh, my God! Don't think that I'm, you know... And I'm just seeing it. I can see Jamie just going, who is this woman? You know? <laughs> right. I mean, it was just like, I don't think he got it. she got out the name, who I was. Did you rush like, over and explain? Of course I rushed over. Yeah, yeah right, I yeah. To. I thought he was going to have her removed. <laughs> you know? But he was really, he was lovely about it. But I, that was, I was surprised about that. Yeah, you was... could have blamed it on the al al alcohol, you know, also. <laughs> 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 yeah, wow, so that's something else. Boy, I, I don't yeah. know. That's, I mean, you talk about a small town. That is way out in the middle of nowhere. A very small town. Do they yeah. have a movie theater there where they'll go you and know see what? you? In these... They actually have a film festival, the Winton Film Festival. There used to be the old ones where they'd be outdoors under the stars, you know, on a big screen. Right. I mean, I grew up with the ones where you'd put the, the uh, thing in the car. You know, you'd pull up at the drive-in. Drive yeah, right. Kids would be stuffed in the boot under yeah. a blanket, you know, hiding. Yeah, we used to have that, yeah, yeah. right. We'd avoid paying, and then, you know, and Mum would humiliate us, we'd get called out. <laughs> yeah, right. These kids out of the back. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's... And Winton's like that, you know, it's a big outdoor, and now they actually have a film festival. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the yeah, success man. of the movie. It's called Mudbound. Yeah. It's yeah. in theaters and on Netflix. You don't have to <laughs> load the kids into a car and, and make up a whole story. Jason Clark, everybody. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel, and you'll finally be happy.